consumers. They're high in vitamin C and a very good source for antioxidants. Now, Florida and California are the big players in the orange game. Florida for their juice oranges and California for these guys, the navel orange that you peel and eat. And it's that peel and eat popularity that's been very important for one California farm family for nearly a century. Doesn't show any frost damage though on the leaves. No. For Lee new, Bailey and his brother Harvey, citrus here. has been the centerpiece of family life it. since their grandfather it's settled it. here on the east side of California's San Joaquin Valley back in 1913. They had hopes. The grandfather was able to drill a well and plant some trees. I'm third generation, my sons are the fourth generation. Today, the Bailey brothers own or manage more than 2,500 acres and 125,000 citrus trees. From picking to packing, everyone in the family gets involved. Their granddad started the farm, but it was Lee and Harvey's dad who really grew the business. He worked the fields till he was in his 80s, and uh, he liked to see things done, liked to see things done right, and uh, I think it would, I think he'd be proud of us. The Bailey brothers grow both Valencia and navel oranges. Valencia's mostly for juice, navels for the fresh fruit market. California navels make up some 80% of that peel and eat market, shipped across the country and overseas. Here's a piece of navel that is ripe and mature. Mm. Human hands and machines here turn out more than 60 million pounds of citrus each year. This machine scans each orange electronically and sorts it by size. Too small? Slight blemishes? It's destined for the juice factory. Consumers these days have come to expect a product that's near perfect in appearance and flavor. What we're looking at here is a couple of first grade fruit. Uh, this fruit is going to Korea. You'll notice there's no blemishes. There is a nice full bin of good fruit. Besides oranges, the Baileys grow other citrus, including lemons. But lemons are even more sensitive to frost than oranges. That means the Baileys are sometimes up all night with wind machines and sprayers that keep the fruit from freezing. I don't think the general public realizes how much work that have to be done processing and growing and getting the transportation to get the product to the market. Like any agricultural enterprise, there are elements of uncertainty. A citrus greening disease now seen in Florida groves has made its first ominous appearance in California. Cold weather and labor shortages can affect an entire season. In California water issues, shortages and drought impact agriculture across the Golden State. You gotta have the water. If you want crops, you gotta have water. And if you want food, you gotta have water. Without water, we aren't gonna be farming. Still, the Baileys, their wives and children will tell you it's a pretty good life. Working the land is part of this family's legacy, looking ahead to the next crop and the next generation. I feel proud that my grandfather established this and my dad and my brothers and I it's been a family tradition. It's nice just to be out doing a job and getting that job done. And so hopefully we can continue on. <laughs>